Hey y'all, it's Cherokee Starfish, and this is More Lands of Lore, The Throne of Chaos. Welcome back to Kirin, Bakata, and y'all. Uh, last time... <laughs> last time was, um, a whole thing. Uh, we made our way through the lower Oppenwood to the swamp of the Gorka in search of the Ruby of Truth, and we did find it, but there was a, um, let's call it a, a diplomatic incident. There, there was some, there was some light disagreement on the behalf of all parties involved regarding, uh, who, who owned the Ruby of Truth. <laughs> And, uh, and how perhaps we could acquire it from the possession of the Gorka. But acquire it, we did. And y'all decided that uh, out of the two paths we have available to us now, one leading to the Urbish Mines, where Scotia's Dark Army dug up the Nethermask for her, and the other leading here to the Upper Oppenwood, that uh, you'd rather go to the forest, and I think I would too. I think that the Urbish Mines is not where we need to be at the moment. I don't know that for sure. It is open to us, obviously, uh, but I have not attempted to go inside, and, and I feel like uh, carrying around the Ruby of Truth and whatnot is probably not the best direction. So, per your request, we're going to head to the upper Oppenwood now. Ah, oh, this forest again. Oh boy. Okay, I can't wait to see how this uh, shakes out because the lower Oppenwood was filled with horrible orcs, which have gotten less horrible as we have uh, leveled up. We're now 2, 4, and 2 in Fighter, Rogue, and Mage with Kirin, and Bakata is almost a level 5 fighter. Still level 1 Rogue, but then we don't have him doing roguey things and a level four mage. So we're moving at a pretty good clip considering all of the equipment that we found. We got these bracers, we got the Ruby of Truth, we got this named bow, we got some, if not magical armor, then at least better armor. Two rings, which I'm pretty sure are magic, but I still don't know exactly what they do. And uh, Bacata still has a couple of open slots, although I just recently noticed it occurs to me, he doesn't have ring slots. I was thinking about that. Every every race is a little bit different. Hue lines can't wear boots because they have like those digitigrade feet. Uh, Thomgogs have got four arms, so they can use two shields and two weapons. But they don't have ring slots because their hands are like mitten-shaped, almost like pincers. They don't have individual fingers, I guess. Or either that or their fingers are like too thick, maybe, to put the rings on. So, it's kind of neat. Alright, let's see. Oh, we were down here and it jumped up here to put us in the center. Um, which way should we go? North or east? Uh, let's go north because then we can turn left. Ooh, what's this? A stick. Okay. Nothing else appeared on the map. A stick. Our inventory's pretty full. Oh. I hear something. Oh. 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 Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Goodness. Well, that started quickly. Oh, boy. We got some undead. This is new. Interesting. Yeah, they, they look like they haven't eaten well. Do I? <laughs> Ooh. They're not dealing an enormous amount of damage, but they're actually surprisingly tough. Hmm. Let's get some more magic on them. Okay, Freeze doesn't seem to be working, but Spark does. Ooh, I think I hear something else. It sounds almost like... sounds like bugs in the distance. 
Ooh, I hope it's not more of those horrible flying things from the Drarkle's cave. What is this? A sickle. Okay, I don't think we need that. We have two magic weapons, and that doesn't seem to have a name, so... I was about to say, uh, we... Our inventory's pretty full because we found a bunch of random stuff. Like, we have this magic staff, we have some daggers... We have a bunch of named weapons, empty flasks we took with us. Uh, some stuff I am just holding on to sell. And so it's like, I, I may throw down some of these, like the leather jerkin, for example, if I feel like the sword is going to sell for more. But for the most part, so we have this bronze horseshoe. I don't know what it does. Cannot equip this item. Two of these cups. Some ma named maces and stuff. And I don't know what all of them do. And there's not a way to find out other than simply to um, experiment. And I'm not sure how wise that is when we are tackling new enemy types. A couple of you have mentioned, or requested, I guess, in the in the YouTube comments, like, hey, you know, maybe we could experiment more with some of these, um, some of the named weapons. Oops. Dang it. Did I back us into a corner? No. Okay, so we, we can we can leave if we need to. But, uh, it's like, yeah, when we're fighting stuff and we don't know what it does and it seems like it's fighting back really strongly, I feel like it is probably unwise to change our gear if it's working well, but as we travel back through uh, some places like that original forest outside of Gladstone and we are dealing with some weaker enemies, we can certainly try some of these uh, other named weapons and see if we notice any magical properties about them. Because I feel as though, you know, sometimes the name is perhaps a, um, a clue. Man, we are not hitting these things. I mean, like we are, but like, infrequently. Um, okay, let's, let's do this. There, a little magic. Bacata heal himself. Man, it's a good thing that heal is such a good spell. We may have to switch weapons now. <laughs> These things are... Let's see. They're not uh, doing great. Okay, let's try this flare. We'll put Scout down here for a second. When we hit, we're dealing significant damage, but... That's the whole thing, is you've got to hit, don't you? Oh! There we go. Take them down. Oh! Now listen. You can't wake me up every single time that I sleep. Really? There. Oh my gosh. This is interesting. It must be that they're traveling around the woods in the background. Because previously when we have attempted to rest and we have been awakened uh, by monsters intruding on our sleep, it has been pretty immediate. It's not happened part way through resting like that, and then two or three times in a row there. It happened, like, after we had rested for a minute or two. We continue to learn. Continue to learn new things. Okay, let's see. We were headed north. Okay, this goes... 
west or east. Let's go east and see what we find. Okay, actually, you know what? These are skeletons. Here we go. Y'all wanted to see some different, um... Some different stuff. Let me put this other bow over here. We don't need it. Okay, so... Let's try some of these other weapons. It seems to me like maybe a magic mace might be helpful. So we have Bouncer, which has plus one protection, and it looks like 12 might. And then we have Puma, which doesn't have any protection, but it's got two additional might. Since it's only one protection, I'm going to opt for the two might, and let's see how it does. Three damage. It's not dealing a lot of damage, but I get it, like... Bakata is a much higher level fighter than Kieran is, and he also has uh, two weapons. Uh oh. I hear more bugs coming. It's not dealing a lot of damage. Maybe it's not that effective. Let's try Bouncer and see if it does more damage. Oh, it did a little bit more. But I think that was just a fluke, though. I think we just rolled well. Okay. There. I'm trying to build a collection of stuff that... Uh... Here, we've got options if we need them. Okay. Hmm. North again, or we can go down that way and it might loop around. Uh, let's go south. Yep. Oops. Hey. Hmm. Empty. Okay, so that did just make a loop. All right. Well, no harm done. Then, okay, now it is branching off. Let's go west again. Help me keep an eye out for, yeah, stuff mm. like this. Empty. Hmm. Empty. I need to remember to save before clicking on stuff like that because once we got bitten and it poisoned us. <laughs> hmm. Empty. Oh! Hello. Ooh, this guy is impressive looking. Okay, let's try... How much does... Oh, this is the regular axe. I don't care about the regular axe. There we go. There's Slitter. Slitter and where's the other one? Dominance. Okay, so Dominance only has seven might. What about Slitter? Ah, uh, that's not much more. That's 21. That's way more. 14, but also Gutter gives us plus two protection. And then there's Beater. 13 and 45, so it's plus 5 protection, right? Because stabs do that. Mm. Well, in that case, I guess let's try that, because I didn't notice a significant difference when using the, um, when using the mace. Hey! Okay. What do we got? A worn key. Hmm. Yeah, it's time. We're going to have to start throwing some stuff away. Oh, that's a magic dagger. Let's throw away a regular dagger. How many rocks do we have? There's one rock. There's two rocks. I, I need to... Okay, there's a couple rocks. I need to um, reorganize the inventory a little bit. I've let it get out of hand. Uh, 
Okay, so this is, that dude was just kind of hanging out in a, in a closet. Hmm. Empty. Wonder what that worn key will be for. Okay, I hear more bugs. Oh, that's the same nest. <laughs> I just forgot because I was in the menu screen. All right, let's go this way and see if it connects. A rock. Okay. Just in case we need one. There are silver coins in here. Hey, all right. We love that for us. And I think that this did, yeah, it did connect. Okay. So now this should be, yes. All right, we will go this way and go south. Hmm. Empty. I feel like I'm getting a little bit better at spotting those things. I'm sure that I've still passed up one or two. But... I feel a little better. Okay. I can hear bugs, but I don't see them. We've got two places over here yet to explore, so let's go north because that feels like that's more likely to terminate in a dead end or something, versus this could take a turn and loop back around that way. So let's see where north takes us. Whoa! Hello? You fellows have become bothersome. Don't press your luck. You don't want to make me angry. I have business in the tower now, and I do not wish to be disturbed. The ring on her finger, that's cool. Oh! I wish you would just stay and fight. Oh, okay. Oh, she put up a magical barrier. She said, I have business in the tower and don't wish to be disturbed. So there must be a tower on this side of the barrier. Okay, well. Okay, we can't go that way. So we're going to have to find some way around or through that barrier. All right, cool. Well, story development. Nothing? Okay. I love that this is one of those games that rewards you for clicking on, like, absolutely everything. Of course, you're not always going to find something, but... You do often enough to keep you interested. <laughs> that would be very funny. Like, yeah, I mean, it did just only go so far, right? She only made the barrier, like... A certain, a certain amount of tall. A certain amount of tall. What's that called? A certain height. You know, there's a there's a word for that. A certain amount of tall. Hmm. Empty. Nothing here. Doesn't look like. A lot of dead ends in this forest. Whoa. Oof. These things haven't poisoned us yet, but I really don't want them to. Although I feel a little bit better because I did finally find that green skull y'all mentioned. So I feel slightly safer oops, than I did previously. <laughs> you must be a certain amount of tall to get on this, this roller coaster or whatever. That would be very funny. Okay. Let's keep going north until it terminates. Uh-oh. Let's get them all while they're all on the screen. Oh, okay, that did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. They seem to be immune to cold. Let's put our flare back on and see how that helps. 
Yeah, they just don't seem to take a lot of damage from arrows. And fair enough, there's not much of them to shoot, right? They're skeletons, so... Yeah, they're fancy skeletons. I love their appearance here. They look bedraggled. They look brown the way that, like, ivory turns yellow and then eventually brown over time. And Kieran is... He's responding fast. I knew that he kind of had that ability, but... Like, his cooldown time is not... See, look like I'm attacking with him second. I'll click with Bacotta first and then Kieran, and then he still comes off of cooldown before Bacotta does. I think that's like one of his hidden traits, sort of, in addition to his um, evasion. He's almost level 3 fighter, that's pretty good. We want that to go up, so. But yeah, it looks like they've just they've been in the ground for a while. That's cool. They look they look nasty. They look grungy. I think too many undead creatures are kind of uh inexplicably clean cut. Ooh, oh, ooh, alright. Okay, this could have a trap, so I'm gonna save it, but Alright. A little bit of uh, rogue experience. Maybe not much. <laughs> you couldn't hardly see it move, but... We got... Ooh! A crossbow. A named crossbow. Okay, let's see. That's Slitter. Time to get rid of this leather jerkin, I think. Valkyrie. Dwarvish chainmail, you say? Protection. Oh my gosh! It's got 17 more protection than the glint mail. Whoa! I wonder what their special abilities are. I wish there was some way to find out. I really do, because at some point your inventory is going to get loaded, and you're going to have to start putting things down. And when it comes to the point that you have to start deciding between magic items, or named items, or just interesting items like the glint mail, I mean, I don't know if it's got a special power. There, that's three additional protection for him. Okay, that's the regular axe. We'll keep the scale mail because that, I think, will be more important if we pick up, say, an additional party member. Twenty-three crowns. All right, he was excited. I'm excited, too. Oh, that's your favorite crossbow? I'm sure it's got some kind of a special ability. Because it has a name. They all do, even if it is just... Mm. Empty. ...that they uh, have additional attack power. Where the heck are we going here? Nothing. Oh! oh okay. Yeah, I wouldn't join us either. Well, you know what? There's no reason not to. Valkyrie. Okay, let's see here. We'll... We'll try it out. Let's give it a shot. Oh, whoa. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> it took that bug out in one shot. That seems very good, actually. Ooh, okay, now I'm assuming because it's doing the same thing as the bow that, uh, you know, it's not raising our might, that crossbows and bows fall into the same category. And so that means that um, it's going to raise his rogue skill, and it looks like it did a little bit. Oh! What? Oh, it's... It shoots fireballs? Whoa! So it has a magic shot. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, that's so cool. We've got a flamethrower. Or a grenade launcher, I guess. More like it. Oh, that's hmm. so cool. Empty. Okay, so it seems like the trade-off... Ooh. Oh, that's very good. I'm feeling a huge difference. Very nice. Oh, man. That is very nice indeed. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is... It looks like the, the bow has a little bit shorter cooldown 
than the crossbow does, which makes sense. In most RPGs, that's the trade-off for most games in general. Crossbow takes longer to reload, but hits harder. Whereas a regular bow, it fires faster, but it doesn't deal as much damage. Uh, so with his faster cooldown that I was just talking about, that kind of balances it out where like I don't really feel put upon by that. Like I, I don't really notice that it's taking an awfully long time to uh, hmm. for him to get in a second shot. Empty. Okay, just another stick. So we've got some non-magical sticks and rocks. Ooh. Ooh, he's taking those things out in two shots. So it has another power. It's not just the fireballs. Okay. Hmm. So we're seeing the fireball. Ooh, this seems very good, like, even in melee. So that's a great way to, if it's dealing way more damage, and it's hitting consistently too. So, and that was the problem before. It seems like this one's maybe more accurate. And that was our real problem with the other bow, was that, um, you know, or any other weapons were just not hitting a lot on these skeletons and stuff. Yeah, honestly. I'm waiting to get a phoenix staff or something, right? Remember the phoenix staff from Hexen? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I I I like this. Oh, a swarm. Hornet's nest. Hmm. A hornet's nest. Yeah, just throw that rock rather than throw it away. There we go. That helps. I don't... Is it because it's shooting a fireball? It's like it's not missing. We've not missed one time. We've Every shot that we have fired with this crossbow, we have... Like... A hornet's nest. We've landed it. Hmm. Okay, this shows a niche, so... Must be something that we can do there, but we'll have to come back and figure it out. <laughs> I mean, I agree. That would be just disrespectful, honestly. I wonder if we need to throw a rock at the hornet's nest. So that's what these are. Giant murder hornets. Oh man, yeah, I like the Valkyrie. This is a good weapon. Okay, alright, that linked back up. No, well, that wasn't it. Oh, a smooth rock, you say? Well, that's much better than just a regular rock. There. <laughs> okay, let's see. So this maybe goes back over that way. So let's go back down south. Anything here? Not seeing any trees with holes in them. Not yet, anyway. Oh, the Urbish Mines. Oh! Okay, so that will take us back to there, from, but from the other side. Okay, okay. So we kind of made a loop. Well, I'm fine with that. That's actually pretty cool. Whoa, hello. Get out of here. Excuse you. Hmm. Empty. There, no more buzzing. Oop. Another one of these guys. Yeah, we've not missed one time. I need to remember to use some of my magic. 
I got so excited about the bow that I'm not uh, leveling up in mage. There we go. Oh, no, I'll leave him enough for a healing spell. Which it looks like we're probably going to need. <laughs> Oh, so that's what it is. So it shoots, it's got a magic shot, and it has 100% accuracy. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. If there's a list somewhere, we should find out what some of these other, like, weapons do, maybe. Because so far there doesn't seem to be a mm. way in the game Empty. to figure it out, other than just experimentation. Okay, let's go back over here because I think yeah okay is that yep okay that's all of this so there's Scotia's barrier so we've got to clear out the interior here but I'll tell you what though uh with this crossbow I no longer fear anything in these woods which may be a bad thing uh maybe I should have mm. some fear empty <laughs> actually Okay, so this seems to be a dead end. I'm not seeing any anything interesting to click on other than that one stump. So let's go north. Hmm. Empty. I think we came up this way a little bit. Yeah, okay. Ooh, all right. I love these random like stumps with a lock on them. Fail to open the lock mm. wall. Empty. Really? Mm. There's nothing? Empty. Okay, wait a minute. I want to check something real quick. Hmm. Empty. Okay. Oops. Wait, wait, wait. I want to load the game. So what I'm doing here is like I'm not sure because I'm still figuring out things. Uh, it's like in some games hmm. okay alright I'm satisfied so there's just nothing in there uh, in some games you can open a treasure chest ooh this is a second assassin I think because we already have a dagger called assassin yeah well there we go. We don't really need that non-magical longsword, I guess. Because even if we want to sell it, a named weapon will probably sell for more. But anyway, in some games, when you open a treasure chest, you know, you'll have the option to do something like bash it in. Um, and if you do that, you can open it even if you're not able to pick the lock, but you might destroy things that are inside, and therefore you get less treasure. So I was thinking... I wanted to check and see if I could open it on the first try, because if he failed, I didn't know if that changed what treasure was inside. I doubt it for this game, but you never know, so... Oh, uh, okay, sweet. This way, yes. And now where? Be gone! Horrible bug. Okay. See, I haven't done that yet. So far, we've not bashed a chest open because Kieran has been able to pick the lock on every one we didn't have a key for. But, you know, it makes you wonder when, when that is a mechanic. It's like, okay, which, which way when I open this chest will give me the most treasure? Because sometimes games do have that mechanic where... If you open a chest the wrong way, the, the price that you pay is, uh, you, uh, you get less loot. You destroy something. Nice. Okay, how are we doing? All right, mage is moving along a little bit. Ironically, with all that crossbow we're firing... <laughs> <laughs> we we're closer to three fighter than uh, five rogue, but I I feel like it makes sense that it would take a long time to get from level four to level five. OK, 
Okay, let me double check where we're at. Okay. Nothing here. Oh, y'all wanna y'all wanna go? You wanna tangle with my magical flamethrower bow that can't miss? Sounds like a great plan for you. Okay, I can tell that is moving his rogue bar, just... Just slowly. Is this a smooth rock? No, it's a regular rock. Hmm. Leave it. Empty. Anything? No. Okay. Hmm. Empty. We've not found one nest yet with anything in it. Well, no, that's not true. I think one of them that we found hmm. actually did have Empty. some money in it. Nothing there, it looks like. Okay, now we have looped back round. Excellent. That's the beginning. <laughs> That's funny. It's like, this rock is so smooth. Like the Santana song, you know, with Rob Thomas. Before we stick our hand in an unknown hole. There are silver coins in here. There we go, nice. Hmm. Empty. Hmm. I think I checked that one. Empty. Okay, so we gotta go back around this way. I'm kind of hoping that this links up to that and that we don't have two dead ends that we'll have to circle around for. But at the same time, if we don't find something here uh, at, at the end of one of these paths, then what's gonna happen is uh, we're gonna have to go to the Urbish Mines in order to find something to remove Scotia's barrier or open it or dispel it or whatever I'm assuming ooh okay we got another one of those nests so are those like spawn points for these things Okay, another swarm. <laughs> Starting to run out of room. Oh, that's that cane leather jerkin or cane leather jerkin. I kind of, I would rather sell that than throw it away. Here we go. We got a non-magical crossbow. A hornet's oh. nest. You stop that. Does this show up as a niche like the other one? Yeah, it does. Okay, so we hit both of those are hornet's nests. I don't know what to do with those. It, It's marking them on the map for some reason, so obviously it feels as though like we should be able to do something. A hornet's nest. A hornet's nest. Okay, well that's not it. We have a ranged weapon and we're not hitting it, trying to shoot it, so it must be something else, but I don't know what. I was going to say, old man, it also makes me think of, um, uh, like the smooth lions are eating me. The shark comic. Okay, here we go. Up and around. You know, I suppose I could actually have gone the other way. It may even have been closer. Here we go. Oop. We got dudes. Ooh. We got lots of dudes. That's okay, we also got lots of firepower. These dudes, they can get a good lick on you, but they really don't hit as hard as as we do. It's more that they have loads of hit points or protection or defense or whatever. So they're hard to kill. They can't dish it out, but they can take it. Hmm. There we 
go. Got rid of that guy. That's so cool. That's so cool. Yeah, that rogue bar is growing very slowly. Okay, which way do we want to go first? I think we want to go north. Oh, yeah, we definitely want to go north. <laughs> because to the north is a treasure chest. Let's see what's in this one. Oops. There we go. Oh. Trapped. Oh, another one of these. Okay. Jade necklace. 26, 27, 28 crowns. Nice. Hmm. It's cool that there's a specific, like, voice line for that. Jade necklace. What? That's just plus one rogue level? Oh, shit. Okay, well, here, Bakata, you hang on to the Ruby of Truth. Jeez. Whoa, that's the first item we found like that that does something that big. So it just gives you plus one level of this. Which, of course, doesn't seem like a lot on the surface, except that these levels are what the game is checking against to see, like, how powerful your spells are, or how easily you succeed at doing things like picking a lock. And we've got to take this with us. Here, we'll do that. We'll move this around. Uh... Oh, right, that's a magic star. That's why we still have it. Here we go. I'll get rid of one of the non-magical ninja stars. We don't need no shuriken that uh, can't pull their weight. Okay. Now. This way. Ooh. We've got another chest to open. I love that. It's probably another nest nearby. I wonder if that maybe is like just legitimately a um an indicator for ooh, ebony staff. Ten crowns. Ten crowns. A green skull, another green skull. Emerald blade. Mm. Empty. Whoa, that's like a bunch of cool stuff. Okay, um... Oh boy. Uh... This is where we gotta start putting stuff down. Still don't 100% know what that does, but... Let's see, that's Dawn's key. I'm gonna have to rearrange all of this stuff. I really am. Okay, there's the non-magical bow. Emerald blade. And an... Lantern does not need to be filled. Oh, right, I already did that. Um, There we go, the other shuriken. Okay, now I think everything that we have is magical. Okay, ebony staff. Oh, cannot equip this item. Oh. Well, that's interesting. We can't use it at all. Okay, so does that mean it's n because it's not a weapon or because we don't meet some kind of requirement? Because before, when I tried to equip something and said you cannot equip this weapon, it was like, well, because it's not equipable. It is not equipment. Hmm. Uh, okay, let's do that. I need to do a little bit of inventory management. I have to. Okay. Um. Okay, these are our weapons. 
deal with that in a second. Um, the assassin. Where's the other dagger? There we go. Okay, that's a non-magical rapier. I'm actually just going to go ahead and sit that down there. The sledge, I don't want to throw away because... Um, it had a very specific use. Okay, burnt scroll, the riddle scroll. The, the riddle scroll we need to keep, the burnt scroll we might not need to, actually. We may also not need the lockpicks, but we've only found two so far, and I don't know if they have like a hidden number of uses, like if they break. And so because of that, I am hanging on to them. Okay, um, so now I'm going to consider that to be, like, plot items. Which means we need to get these keys here. And, let's see, the worn key. We're going to use that first. The iron key is one of those where y'all told me I didn't necessarily have to keep it. I could maybe even throw it away. Let's put that there because I don't consider that a weapon. I, that's a tool. Okay, the star. There's Puma. Beater. The emerald sword. There's dominance. There's our smooth rock. And I think that that's everything, and that leaves us with a spot, actually. I swear I thought we had another rock. Hmm. Oh, sure, yeah, no, if you want to tell me. That is, that's totally fine. What's this cool emerald sword do? Ooh, okay, three less protection, but seven more might. Okay, Cutter has so much more protection, though. Okay, so this Emerald Sword is kind of cool, but you know what? Actually, let's see. Let me trade this. Okay, so that's 21 for Flare. This is 24. Okay, all right. So the Emerald Sword then can live next to the, uh, the green... Um, the green skulls appropriately because it is more powerful than flare it looks like whatever its special ability is okay so it's in case that we like in case we missed one so they have infinite uses basically okay well that's cool then what we will do is I will leave them right here and if we don't need them then we don't need them there and that way we can come back and get them if we need to. It's been a while, so let me do this. All right, cool. That is a much better situation. That emerald sword is cool. But yeah, now I'm wondering, like, is the ebony staff some kind of key item? Maybe that's what we need to get through Scotia's barrier. some of these guys. Yeah, I'm really liking the Valkyrie. I don't know what its attack power is because you just can't tell with bows, but it feels way more powerful and that may just simply be because it's not missing. I don't know what the difference is in attack power between it and Scout, but... Okay, well, since we put that other thing away, that gives us room to have another one of those right there. Actually, let's do this. I'm going to move this stuff down. Oh, okay. Get your butt out my face. Honestly, these hornets. Uh, that sounds great to me. 
I wish I could play from bed. I guess I suppose I guess I could. It'd be really awkward though. I'd have to move everything. Okay, I do not know what to do about the hornet's nests. They are marked on the map, and I'm not sure if that is because that is the, the map telling us that there's going to be a higher concentration of hornets around here because that's where the nests are, and those are like spawn points. Or maybe... Maybe because there's we can destroy them to stop the spawning, or there's treasure inside or something. Either way, I don't know what to do, and I don't think I have anything. So... Uh, let's see, let's go back round by, okay, if we go this way and go north. Yeah, see, I feel like th there's something, but I can't figure out what. I have tried to attack them. I've tried to cast spells at them. I've thrown things at them. A hornet's nest. Hmm. I've tried throwing rocks at nest. them. I have tried. A hornet's nest. So oil won't work. I've tried poking them with various sticks. A nest. I've even tried throwing the swarm thing at them. <laughs> yes, I tried diplomacy. That's these buttons right here, isn't? Aren't they? Isn't that what these buttons are for? Do what? Oh. Well, speak of the devil. Listen, y'all. Bro, I am trying to i I'm trying to destroy your home and stop you from spawning. You can't interrupt me like this. It's fine. More XP for the grind machine. That bar is slowly moving. None of his bars are moving. <laughs> I wonder if it's because maybe you stop getting mage experience from, like, lower level spells at a certain point. Like, I can cast level 1 spark very easily now, a lot of times, so maybe I'm only going to get meaningful points from, like, casting a charge 2. Let's see, I have the ebony staff. That's, that's not doing anything. Does this key open it? A hornet's nest. A hornet's nest. It is indeed a hornet's nest. Throw a horseshoe a at it. Nest. Well, that's all I got. If only. A hornet's nest. A hornet's nest. Okay, well. A hornet's nest. Ha! <sighs> yup, that's all I got. It is filled oh! with honey. Whoa! Whoa! I was about to say, that's the only thing I hadn't tried. Wait a second. Whoa, okay, that threw me for a second because I wasn't expecting it. Oh, I'm glad I came back and tried that. Ew. Ew, though. Yeah, hornet honey. Ew. It is filled with honey. It is filled with honey. Why, though? But, but why? <laughs> it is filled oh, with he honey. hated that. It is filled okay, well, at least honey. we know we can empty the, the bottles if we need to. Oh, oh, they literally just spawned, like, right in front. <laughs> Bro. I can believe that. I just don't want to. <laughs> well, I imagine, I mean, think about it, you know, you have to wear a full set of, like, sci-fi armor to be able to harvest it safely. For me, it's mostly a question of spite. Like, I don't want to eat anything that comes out of a hornet. Because I don't want anything to do with hornets, period. Full stop. Okay, so let's see. Quickly, we must destroy this barrier. Yes, that would be ideal. 
Okay. Dawn's key. Oh no, right. That we that's not gonna work. What about this ebony staff? No. Okay. Horseshoe? No. I didn't think that would work. Uh it didn't want any honey. Can we can we batter it down with the sledge? Okay. Alright, well. So that means I guess we need to go to the Urbish Mines, probably. Nothing we can do with the barrier. Why do we have Hornet's Honey? That is so confusing. I guess we'll find out. They can drink it. I don't know what it does. I don't know if it's already done something. Ooh, I didn't think of that. Um, okay, let's go back down this way, and I don't know what the difference is going to be coming in one direction from the Urbish Mines rather than the other, other than just, like, where the entrance links. Uh, so this could be a bad idea, or it could be fine. Do I need to lose? No, I need to go this way. Oop. You know, I really should have gotten a clue about the uh, the honey, perhaps, from the fact that every time that you shoot one of these hornets, that's what they explode into. <laughs> Instead of, like, blood or even slime or, or... Oh, well, I went exactly the wrong way. Instead of, like, bug goo in green or something, it is, uh... Ooh, know what that sound means. It's yellow. There. I eventually finish my sentences, I promise. Okay. Oh, oh, there's one left. Get out of here. You stop it. There. Okay, so I need to go this way. And then this way. Y'all are in my way. That's not a good place to be. Ooh, there's more behind us. Uh-oh. They brought back up. I hope not, but like that's what I assume. Like, that's how I feel about it. It's, it's the most likely scenario. Okay, we are here. Well, let's do this. Immediately lays down to rest. Let's do it. Goes to sleep. Stop it. Little by little, we will get there. Especially with these damage numbers. Nice. Good job, guys. Okay. There we go. On to the Urbish Mines. The mines do not look inviting. Indeed. Hey, Zanch, I'm glad that you caught one, too. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, that is, uh, that is the burden of time zones. No matter what time you stream, somebody somewhere who wants to watch it is not going to be able to, because they either got to go to bed, got to go to work, or got to, they're just getting up, you know. Oh, man, well, I hope that, uh, I hope that you have some good advice about it, because I'm terrified to go in here. Oh, and immediately there is a witch's cauldron. Maybe that's where we put the honey. Urbish Mining Company. Hmm. Well, I am too, and thank you for that. I appreciate all the support that we have gotten recently, all of the follows and likes, and everybody has left such kind comments. 
Yeah, Eye of the Beholder brought a lot of people in, and I'm glad. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing the next one. I can't wait to see the further adventures of Stout Muffin and company. A swarm. Ah, uh, this pot must gather moisture from above. That's actually kind of funny that the only thing in there is a, uh... There we go, let's do this. Is a hornet's nest. That's like when you leave something alone for too long and then you go back and there's a wasp nest in the wall or like a mud dauber's nest or something. And that's how you know that you haven't been in there and cleaned in too long. Oh, I'm digging this chip tune. Man, the music in this game is so good. Yeah, that's what it is. Let's cook it to get uh, rid of that. This pot must gather moisture from above. Purify this that for honey. The forest. Oh. Well, that was pretty short. That can't be it. I mean, obviously there's this door, but like, so that goes back to the lower oppen wood, and this goes to the upper. Huh. Okay. Well, so we could have bypassed the swamp entirely, and then possibly also, maybe, have prevented the incident. Do you suppose oh. there could be another entrance? That whoa. Whoa. Uh, whoa. Whoa. I'm sorry? Excuse me? Why are y'all barehanded? Did that thing just eat our weapons? Okay, that makes me very unhappy. Um, here's the thing, though. Do I get them back? Whoa, what in the world? Oh, oh, shit. No, they're there. We just dropped them? Okay, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I thought that it ate them. I guess, like, the earthquake made us drop them or something. Okay. Okay, it did disarm us. All right. Oof. All right. Um. Hmm. So, if I open this door, it immediately is going to, like, knock my weapons out of my hands. The thing seemed pretty tough. It wasn't taking a lot of damage. If any. I feel like even our spells didn't do anything to it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Trance. This seems like I'm supposed to do something else, maybe. We have... Maybe I can use the Hornet Honey on it. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if the swarms were a clue. We found one in that cauldron. And there were a bunch lying around the forest where the hornet's nests were. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes that's what I wind up doing too, Zanch. If It depends on, you know, y'all have given some good advice, <laughs> and that has definitely helped. If left to my own devices, I just wind up clicking on everything until something works. Do you suppose there could be another entrance? Oh, uh, this one may not work. There we go. Oh, right. I keep throwing them. Okay. Try everything. Ah. Ah. Okay, that's not working. That thing's nasty. Hmm. Ah, uh, this pot must gather moisture from above. Right, so there's two of these. Let's see. Can we push that over? But does it hate water, maybe? Ah, uh, this pot must gather moisture from above. No. Okay, let's see. Do you suppose there could be another entrance? Uh, this one may not work. 
Throwing the honey at it is not working. What about freezing it? That doesn't seem to be working. Hmm. If, noth if none of my attacks are working, then it can't be about kiting it. It could be that you need to use a very specific weapon. But that feels unlikely because there would be a chance that you could miss it if you didn't explore everything. Then again, this was the early 90s, which means that games didn't care to punish you for doing that. Closing the door didn't work. It really did feel like a cave-in. Oh, we can finally cast lightning now. If they're at full MP. I still don't know what the skulls do, but I think that they, like, cure poison or something. Yeah, just like real life. I love it when I play games to escape from real life and then am punished for playing the game. Like in Dark Souls. What about this smooth rock? Okay, so we are... We can hit it, it looks like, and even deal damage. Valkyrie's not working, though, so it's almost like maybe it's resistant to magic. <laughs> Well, thanks. I'm glad that you sp uh, popped in, Zanch. <sighs> Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Let's see. We got... The lantern is full, but it's not on. So this place is too well lit for it to come on, I guess. So light is not scaring it. I don't know. It's got to be something we have. Is it the horseshoe? Do you suppose there could be another entrance? That uh, this one may not work. Ah, uh, this pot must gather moisture from above. Uh, Oof. Got another one. Hmm. Okay. Oh, thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, my 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 Spanish is uh, is very rusty. <laughs> Es un poco deficiente. But I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you for this sub. Uh, okay, that's... Uh, okay, we didn't lose our shield this time. Uh, 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 let's see. Okay, magic doesn't seem uh, to be working. Uh, and... Crossbow, unfortunately, doesn't seem to be working, so... Ooh! Oh, man. If it keeps doing that every time, like, that's gonna be... Oh, I forgot, it's level 4 is the one that heals everybody. Level 3 just cures poison, I think. There we go. I don't know why I'm not doing that. I'm doing a dumb. I'm clicking instead of uh, instead of using the button. At least we are dealing a little damage. Hey, look! <laughs> Man, that thing looks nasty. Look at that. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. I feel like we're wheedling it down, though. We occasionally hit it. We occasionally deal some damage. Oh. Once again. Uh. Uh. 
Ooh, that was close. Oh, man. Oh, maybe that is what it is. Hmm. So is it supposed to be, like, mostly immune to weapons or something entirely? That's kind of bonkers in a game like this. So something he's got, either Cutter or Ripper, maybe. Or it might even be the Ruby of Truth, because I don't know what that does. Maybe that, like, if you're wearing it, it bypasses certain immunities or something. Uh. Uh. Oh my gosh. Uh. Uh. Yeah, it's making like a magical noise. Oh, that didn't heal hardly anything. There, that healed a lot more. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Well, there. Now it's dead. <laughs> there. There. I did it. Did I win the fight? Did, did I do it right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh okay i have to say that i feel like yeah I, I feel as though perhaps this is kind of like the gorka swamp where the expectation of y'all who have played the game before and know what's coming at certain places um is that like i'm gonna do x thing but Y thing is an option, and when I do Y thing, like, that's fine, because that just means people are getting to see the B side. They're getting to see the other path, so everyone in the comments has said, like, just kind of took it for granted that I would use the diplomatic option as I went through the Gorka Swamp, and so then when I didn't, people were like, what?! Um, and I think that that's fine. That's great. So likewise, I'm sure there's some gimmick here and people are going to be yelling at me in the comments quite justifiably like, oh, how did you not know? Or, or how did, you know, how did you do that? I didn't even know that you could kill it. And that just means that we get to see that, yes, in fact, you can do it that way. So there you go. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So yeah, what uh what what's the trick? Cuz I see it doesn't seem to have like a lot of hit points, I guess. Cutter was dealing that bonus damage because Bakata as a Thomgog was using it. Um and so that was getting around its weapon and damage immunity, I suppose. Um but obviously like the immunity means you're supposed to do something else. Oh. Oh. See, we haven't found a wand or anything yet, but like when you use it as a magic item, so it uses some of our MP and then creates. I don't have enough magic. Okay, it creates like poison gas. Caustic fog. Okay, so like acid. Okay. So you're supposed to kill it with acid. Oh, see. Someone in the comments said to don't go in the mines until you find a green skull. And there's like a couple hidden around, but only one of them, I guess, is like guaranteed or, or something. I don't know. Um, but I thought it was because this was going to be a cure poison item, which is why I had it next to our healing potions. I thought that if you used this on somebody, that it was going to cure the poison status effect. So... I had the wrong idea. But hey, if there's another one of those things, now we know. Oh, see, I dig stuff like that. So, like, it's programmed into the game. Obviously, you can use it. Oh. Oh, no. I don't know what that is. I don't like it. Okay, it went down fairly easily, though. Didn't do too much damage. I'm not getting any messages that it, like, ate my armor or something.
But yeah, so I imagine in, in a lot of games like this, you know, there are always going to be uh, spells that don't make it into your spell book or onto your character somehow, but they're still in the game because they're on items and things that you can use. And that's always kind of neat. More orc jargon, no doubt. <laughs> orc graffiti, okay. Let's see what our map looks like. And yeah, Zanch, they definitely did. Especially because these were the days before the internet, so it was really hard to, like, share information. So we didn't have this viral effect where when you figured out what happened in a difficult fight or a gimmicky battle or you discovered an Easter egg hidden somewhere, uh, you could post it on, you know, some forum, uh, like in Steam or whatever, and then suddenly the whole world would know and could look it up on Google. Okay, I see. All right, that's why you only need one. Okay, well, that is useful then. Urbish Mining Company. Here's the door. So here, I'll just leave one right there. We know where it is to... This is... Here, wait a minute. There we go. We're going to uh, mark the site of this creature's death. There. That's where it happened. The place where it happened. I remember it like I was there. Like it was yesterday. So that's how wands and stuff work, then, is you just, like, right-click on your character like a, to use it. Kind of like with the swarm thing. Swarm grenade. That's a neat idea, actually. I like that. Instead of it just having charges, it just uses your MP to cast a spell that you otherwise don't have. Oh! <laughs> Oh, nice. He went up to level 5 fighter. Okay, so that is what that means. If I click over here, yeah, so if it turns white, that means that it just very recently, like, leveled up, I guess. You know what we haven't seen yet? Let's try this. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a cool effect. That is very expensive, but but that's a really cool effect. I love it. That's a cool looking spell. Nice. More orc jargon, no doubt. Okay, so now everything is doors. Oof, where should we start? I guess back closer to the entrance, probably. And I saw a keyhole over here on next to one of them as well. Warning, wear your helmet. <laughs> Indeed, safety first. Let's give a save here. Man, yeah, sometimes that happens. It's like, I don't think about a game for a really long time, and maybe it's been 10, 15, 20 years since I played it, and uh, then someone will say something, or I'll see a sprite, or hear a piece of music, and it all comes flooding back. So, like, this, this thing that I couldn't remember before. It's like, oh, wait, no, I, I can tell you exactly how to do that. Actually. Oh, this is cool. A filing cabinet. Neat. Can I open these drawers this way? Ooh, one of them I can. Neat. An oil flask. Well, it, hmm. Here, let's, uh... There, we'll put the rock there, because sometimes we need those in a hurry to uh, trigger they a trap or something. They appear left in a hurry. They appear, they appear... Notes, papers, nothing of interest to us. Okay. Nothing in the filing cabinets. That's neat, though. Yeah, way before it became standard in, like, every survival horror game. Or the history of a mine. Or the history okay. of a mine. They appear to have left in a hurry. 
They appear. They appear. Nothing to here. Look. Oop! More oil. Okay. Well, I think we have enough of that. I'll put it here for now. Ooh! <gasps> Fireball. And we get to see this cool animation again. I love this animation when you learn a new spell. Cool. Most of these files are useless. They appear to have left in a hurry. They appear to have All left right, in a we hurry. got a new spell. Yes, good. So excited for that. Okay, this apparently goes down. Boom. Cool. That looks cool. And we are able to cast it as well, too. Ooh, I think that gave me a little bump. We've not opened this door yet, but it already shows that it's got, like, stairs going down or something. So let's... We'll dodge around that and explore some of the rest of the level first, I think. Oh! You know, I didn't think about that, Zanch, but actually, you're you're right. Because I realized that, like, level 1 freeze just kind of turns everything blue, but level 2 freeze adds a swirl of snowflakes. So, yeah, so each one of these has four different animations. That's really cool. I, I did not consciously realize that. I'm glad that you brought it to my attention. Oh, more lockpicks. Okay, we'll leave those where they are. We know we don't need them. Tool inventories. Monthly quota sheets. Notes, papers, nothing of interest to us. They appear to have left in a hurry. Okay. This is an interesting level so far. I love the variety of locations and environments that there are to explore. That's very important in a game like this where it's not fully open world, but it's very reliant um, on, like, your enjoyment of it is very reliant on being engaged with the game world. Ooh, a helmet. Uh, well, we have two of those. I don't suppose this one's any different. I'll hang on to it in case we get a companion, though. More orc jargon, no doubt. Or the history of a mine. Nothing to comment on on this one. Okay, well, that's fine. But yeah, having... Oh, having cool-looking, interesting environments and a variety thereof is important. Because that's what's going to bring you back to the game again and again. Because once you know the storyline, it is what it is. Right? There's no replayability in that. You can play a different character, of course. But the story still largely is what it is. Uh, the incident aside, of course. <laughs> oh, is there a secret door here? Oh, no, but it looks like there is a switch that I missed back over there. Mm, how did that happen? Notes, 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 papers, notes, nothing notes, of interest notes. to us. Tool inventories, tool inventories. Okay, more oil. Well, uh, we we do not need that. We do not need any more oil than we have, so... Oh. I'll just sit it there where it's, like, obvious. Is what I was going to say. There. In the middle of the floor. Okay, nothing there. Most of these no notes, papers, nothing... More oil, okay. Ooh, a salve. We actually need that. Wait a minute. There, that's what I wanted to do. There, some more oil if we need it. Notes. I notes, feel like they're getting ready papers, to send us down to the dark. To us. Notes. <laughs> yeah, I just ruined their inventory. Yeah, I love Eye of the Beholder, the whole trilogy. Um, and I love Might and Magic, but uh, this game has really impressed me in a very short time. I have definitely fallen in love with it. And some of that replayability from things like the Gorka Swamp. You know, I feel like that's going to call me back where I am going to uh, 
play it again there casually. Are silver coins in here. Nice. Okay. Notes, papers, nothing of interest to. Or the history notes, notes, papers, nothing of interest to. Okay. Now what's this? A dumb waiter, maybe? That is a niche. Hmm. Hmm. Last time we found an unremarkable niche, we were able to get a magic dagger out of it. Wonder what goes in that one. Okay, let's try this. And this crossbow is so good. I'm sorry. Excuse you? Some monsters just seem to do that. They just cut straight through your protection, and it doesn't really much matter what kind of armor you've got on. If they hit you, they take you out in one shot. Tool inventories. Most of these, most of these files are useless. Okay, well, um... There. <laughs> Rearrange. We've got three of these cups now. Back up this way. Oh, hello. Oh, wait. There, I wanted to do spark. Oh. And we're back. Guess who's back, 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 back again, again, again. Okay, this is the door that requires a key. We did find that worn key on that very first, well, I don't know if it's the first one. Is the one skeleton that looked a little different. Ah, here we go. Okay, I just didn't look at this wall. Secret switch. <gasps> Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. All right. Oh. Hello, new friend. <laughs> At last. You must be the rescue party. I'm sorry I didn't mean to startle you. <laughs> friend spotted. I love that we could just attack the guy. Let's not do that. What happened to the miners? They all ran away last year when monsters invaded the mine. I alone stayed behind to finish the monthly tool inventory. How did you get in? One of those hideous Larkons has been blocking the only passage. A Larkon. You seek a friend who may be in these mines. Have you seen anyone come past here? I've been hiding under the desk and eating nothing but these stale biscuits for months. There could be a herd of wild horses down on one of the lower levels and I wouldn't know about it. All I want to do is to get out of here. The Larkon at the entrance is now dead. You may make your escape now. Excellent. I'll leave as soon as I finish these reports. How are you still not done? <laughs> okay. Clerk office. Well, that's fun. Okay, so that big nasty monster with the weapon immunity or damage immunity, whatever, is called a Larkon. Most of the most of these files are useless. We got they here. They took whatever used to hang there. Hmm. Or the history of a mine. Could I hang something back there, perhaps? Yeah. <laughs> we conducted a little diplomacy. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, I was thinking sometimes you know, people hang horseshoes up for like good luck. 
don't think we've got anything else that would make sense. Of course, not everything is always obvious in a game like this, or makes immediate sense. Cool. I'm glad we found that guy. Okay, so that's the door that takes the key. That's the one that goes downstairs. Let's open these other four first. Methinks. Any more of those nasty things? Yes, there are, in fact. Well, there's one fewer. Oop, I saw you. I saw you. Got him. You know what? Here, so we won't be bothered while we're exploring. Notice, only one meal per day. No exception for dwarves. <laughs> okay. They appear to have left in a hurry. Okay, so this is just like the the cafeteria sort of place. Weird shape, but... Yeah, I don't think he's heard about second breakfast. I don't think he knows about Elevensies. Sickness is no excuse. No work, no pay. Oh, hmm. Came all this way into this fantasy world just to find fantasy capitalism. Thomgogs do not get double pay. <laughs> because they have twice as many arms. All wages paid in silver crowns. Okay, well, that's reasonable at least. There are silver coins in here. Only two of them, but that's cool. It's two more than we had. That must be the uh, administrative office. That's where the that's where the manager hung out. Nothing. Okay. Oh. This door's not opening. Hmm. Maybe it only opens from the other side. Could be stuck. You can see, like, the claw marks on the walls from the monsters and stuff. That's really cool. Uh... Well... It's about that time. If we want to take that with us, we're going to have to leave something else. We've got plenty of lamp oil lying around. Let's do that. Here we go. And then I'll just move this. That's where exactly where that should go anyway. Nice. If I do say so myself. Notes, papers, nothing of interest to us. Okay. Hmm. I'm really wondering what's behind that door. Huh. Maybe we'll find out when we use that key on that other door. Okay, was it... No, around the corner. Here we go. Okay. This one, the worn key. It does not fit. It does not fit. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Oh, but I can do that. I actually wasn't expecting that to work because usually in a game like this, oop, when you see a, uh, a keyhole, it means like you usually can't pick it. It means that they want a key. Eye of the Beholder is guilty of that, where um, there's only one or two, in the first game at least. In later games, you almost cannot get through without a thief. But in the first game, there's only a handful of locks that you can pick with lock picks, and otherwise thieves are largely decorative. Ha! It opens. I say, this lever won't budge. Hmm. What 
could this be? Some kind of furnace or a grinding machine? Ha! It opens. Okay. Maybe we do we need to put coal in there or do we need oil? And that's why they're giving us so much oil. Well, it was worth a try. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was worth a try. Okay, we definitely don't have anything else that would make sense to go in there. So we need to find something else. Alright, that's cool though. Okay, machine. So we don't know what it does. Why can we not get up there? Maybe we have to come up from the other um, area? And I don't know what this niche is for either. Obviously, we put something in there, it's going to do a thing. I kind of, I want to find out, but... I don't know what it could be. What would make sense? I tried the helmet first already because I thought, you know, they had that sign saying, wear your helmet. I love how the sledgehammer turns into a pickaxe or a mattock. You lay it down. Uh... Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Hmm. Okay, well, if something goes in there, then it is something we don't have. All right, well, I guess that means... It's time to go through this door. Is this all going to be... Okay, mine's level one. I wondered about that, if it would actually all be a, like a single level, or if there was going to be multiple levels within the mines. Now, at least I have a good feeling that, uh, okay, we are actually using our, our lantern now. It does not fit. I have a feeling like um, we're going to be self-contained on this level because uh, the next goal is to get through Scotia's barrier, right? And get to that tower. So probably we're going to dig through here until we find something and then have to go back up. There is no way to pick this lock. There is no way to pick this lock. Okay, so they're just telling us then. It's a good thing we've got plenty of lamp oil. Hmm, what is that sound? Also, the fact that this says mine's level 1 implies that there's a mine level 2. Oh man, okay, let's go this way. Looks like the corridor is a little tighter. Ooh. A creepy giggle. Okay, I definitely don't care for that. Oh, oh, there we go. What are these? Hmm. Well, they went down fairly easily. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They almost look like a beaker from the Muppets. A note. Can we... Orin, it is true, I tell you. The rocks are alive. I am leaving this accursed place. Jeff. I love the way that he reads it, just dead man. Okay. I'm going to put that there because I don't know that we need it anymore. And in fact... Richard, my research indicates... This is the one from uh, the... Joined with the ruby. Combat the nether am... Yeah, I'm going to leave this here too, actually. I don't think we need that scroll anymore. I don't think we have for a while. Mm 
Whoa. Whoa. I'm sorry. The hell is that? Oh, it's some kind of weird, like, mole creature. Let's see how this works on him. Nice. Okay, good. We got rid of that thing. Ooh. I don't know what the hell those things were, but I'm not a fan. Hmm. Okay, what are we missing? Hmm. I hate the giggling. Makes me think of the gnomes from, like, Return to Oz. Oh, here comes one. But that's the first time we've missed with the Valkyrie, and it was literally just because they it hadn't transitioned to this uh, square in front of us yet. Okay, not seeing anything on the walls. Yeah, well, I'm never a fan of anything that, like, giggles at me in the dark like this. Like, that's that's never good. Like, it's not frightening. Now, that's scary to some people. That's why it's such a trope in horror movies and things. Is like, you know, the little girl uh, or, like, the voice of a child reciting nursery rhymes or something like that. I don't find it frightening. I just find it, like, culturally a bad sign. Like, some shit is about to go down when you hear that. Because that is part of the of the consciousness, right? It's part of the, the, the zeitgeist. <laughs> oh, okay. I've been poisoned. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, gross, they can poison you. Oh, no. Okay. That's rough. We have to be able to cast level 3 heal in order to, uh... to cure poison. I'm gonna stand here and wait. <laughs> Gimlets, is that their name? Oh man, see, this is where I was really hoping that that's what this was going to be for. Oop, oop. Come on, okay, 12 points, 12 points. I don't know how much it takes to cast a level 3 heal. Okay, he's got 13. Can we do it? Nope. Come on. That's gonna knock him out. I hope it doesn't actually kill him. It, it seems so far like characters can't actually die they can only be knocked unconscious and then it's like if you if everyone gets knocked out then you have to load the game and you can lose but otherwise if someone goes to zero hit points they don't actually perish they just need medical attention i think i hear one of those jumping mole things too Still no? Okay, so it's more than 15. What you got, bro? One hit point. Oh, okay, he's knocked out. But hey, he's no longer poisoned, which means... 
Ah, we are a learning machine. <laughs> so if someone gets poisoned, it persists until they fall unconscious. And then they're fine. Okay, cool. I love that for us. Okay, I figured that was going to happen, but... I've been poisoned. Oh, again. Lord. Oh, look, the rest is fighting with the poison. Okay, here we go. Let's... Oh, we still don't have enough? 23 is not enough. Can he do it? Yes. There we go. Okay, our first time curing poison, so heal three does work. Okay, awesome. Excellent, excellent. We love to learn. Okay, we got plenty of lantern oil. Okay, so the only thing we found down here other than monsters was that note. Very nice. Oh, thank you, Trance. <laughs> um, so we need a key we don't have to get through this door because we cannot pick that lock. And the only place I know to look for it is here because I don't know what to do. So we have the niche in the wall. We have the machine. I don't know what to do with the machine other than it seems as though um, lantern oil does not go into it. This button doesn't work. Can't pick that lock. We're just getting no response. Can't go that way. I was wondering if there was something... I wonder, let's see, can we... Okay. I didn't think that would work, but everything's worth a try in a game like this. Uh, hmm. Well, I admit to being, I'm, I'm a little at a loss. I don't, this, surely that's not a glitch. Like, that's intentional. So this, this door is not opening for a reason. So that means I have to presume it opens from the other side. So that means that there must be some way to get to the other side. There are either stairs there, and we're going to come up from a lower level of the mine on that side of the door. Or there is some way here to get around to it and the only way that i can really see because we've opened every other lock or whatever is something to do with the niche or something to do with the machine so i am going to try uh is it this way no this way i'm gonna go back over here and let's uh Let's talk to the clerk again, since he's still here, and see if maybe he can answer some of these questions for us. Maybe he can give us some more information, actually. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's do this. Boom! Oh, nice. So it looks like it, it does only hit one creature, though, because I don't think that second one took any damage. I knew you would return. Yes, we did. Excellent. I'll leave as soon as I finish these reports. Okay. There's a big hole in that bucket. You'll need that if you go messing around in the mines. Ooh! Free helmet. Okay. Uh, I think we have a space for that. Yeah, but... For now. You miners are required to bring your own lamps. <laughs> I'm nearly finished with my work here. I'm nearly finished with my work here. I'll sign that out to you right away. Oh, okay. We got like a pickaxe. Oh, okay. Now, now we're talking. 
This could be something. Do this. Okay, and that's a great helm, which means actually we do want to keep that. Okay, 57, 66, so he definitely gets it. So that's going to jump up to 62, very nice. And then this helmet can live here because we have a spare already. Okay. See, I need to remember better, and I'm not used to it yet, that whenever you are in a screen like this with an NPC you can click on stuff and there's other things in the screen besides the character to do. So let's see, anything else? Excellent. I'll leave as soon as I finish these reports. Nothing else? Doesn't seem like it. I'm nearly finished with my work here. Okay. <laughs> there's a big hole in that bucket. <laughs> Nothing, apparently. Okay, but this is already progress, because one, we got a small armor upgrade, which is always good. But two, we got this pickaxe. Okay, now, the pick can perhaps be used on things that the sledgehammer cannot. Maybe there's something down here that we can use the pick on. Do we have to mine these monsters? Because that, that note did say, like, the rocks are alive. I've been poisoned. Okay, that's, that's doing nothing for right now. That did something. Okay, one second, let's... I love how surprised they look when they get woken up. Let's heal his poison. There we go. Then rest. That machine is interesting, too. We're going to have to put something um, in that open compartment first, obviously. And I'm thinking, like, maybe some coal or something, if we can find it. Oh. What were they throwing at us? Were they throwing shuriken? Is that what that was? go this way. I was looking at the walls and I, I feel like I searched fairly thoroughly. I didn't see anything unusual that looked as though it was different from the other walls that maybe it could be dug like a weak spot. There's no visual indicators. I don't have any comments on it. You know, there is the note. Oren, it is true. I, I don't know who Oren is, but maybe could we take this note back to the clerk? Uh, I don't know if that's worth our time. But that was all that we found down here. So, if there is nothing to dig with the pickaxe then I don't really know what else to do right away. So we made some progress. We found a missing puzzle piece, but then I was immediately kind of like stumped again. So I'm either missing another puzzle piece or 
I have everything that I need and just don't know what to do with it. So let's try that. Okay, where's he at? Right. Oop. These things again. Nasty. You nasty. Okay, at least there's no more here. Oh! And he's gone. Okay. There's a hole in this bucket. So he did leave. So... Coming back here, I guess, was the right thing to do. We, um... I don't see anything else, but we, we got the pickaxe. We got the helmet. And now he's gone. So that implies to me that, uh... One of those things is what we needed. There's also this... They took whatever used to hang there. Hmm. Man. I feel like something should hang on that, but I don't know what. And I've, I've tried everything that we have already. So. Hmm. Okay. So the clerk is gone. There doesn't appear to be anything else in his office. There doesn't seem to be anything right away that we can dig up with the pickaxe, but that seems to be important. And there's nothing to put in here. Well, it was worth a try tried the oil well it was worth it. he also said this say, yeah this wouldn't budge. budge i do believe that method may be incorrect <laughs> thank you bagata i love his commentary okay so we cannot oil that hmm what could this be i i wonder where this leads Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I wonder where this leads. Oh, okay. I got really excited for a second. I was like, is that why we can open this? Ha! It opens. Thought maybe that's the reason that this is stuck and it's all broken down is because we could crawl through here, but no, apparently not. I wonder where this leads. He's talking about this pipe specifically. I wonder where this leads. So we've got one that goes up and one that goes down. And then this specifically what this is what he's asking, like, what could that be? And the lever's stuck. There's nothing that we have yet that can go in this compartment. Yeah, I wasn't thinking the pipe. I was thinking, like, behind this door here. But yeah, I feel like Kieran maybe could squeeze in there. But I doubt that Bacotta would be coming with us. <laughs> Probably unlikely. Hmm. Okay, so what puzzle pieces do we have? So it seems like we've got the machine with the stuck lever that seems as though it needs something, probably some kind of fuel. We got the pickaxe from the clerk, but there's nowhere obvious for us to dig with it. We have this door with a button that does not respond. So I have to assume that we open it from the other side. And then we have this niche over here in the wall which I don't know what it does, but you can place items into it, so maybe you're supposed to do that, but I don't know what you would put. We've tried literally everything except for the pickaxe. And that also does not work. So... Going downstairs didn't really accomplish anything. Tool inventories. 
there we go i might as well go ahead we have all this extra oil i'll fill the lantern up since we've been downstairs for a bit so then downstairs all we found was that note we found a door with a keyhole that doesn't take any key we have but we can't pick it so that means that we need another key from somewhere else and then potentially there is that hook on the wall which maybe you could hang something there but i don't know what i probably will kick myself when i figure it out with these kinds of of puzzles that's usually the case but it depends because sometimes it is something obvious or common sense and then i tend to <laughs> i've said this before if you have if you've been following the channel for a while um, I, you will probably have heard me comment that uh, specific pixel tends to oversimplify complicated puzzles, and I tend to overcomplicate simple puzzles, which is why when it comes to a game like The Seventh Guest or something, we work so well together, um, because that way we, <laughs> we have two brain cells between us. But... Um, yeah, sometimes I tend to get in my own head about a puzzle and I start thinking about, like, too many moving pieces and I'll invent a puzzle that the developers did not intend that isn't actually there. And then it is something simple or common sense. And it's like, oh, well, love that for me. You are currently facing north. You bet I am. Okay, so it's not something sensible. It does not fit. Is it something dumb? It does not fit. It does not fit. Hmm. I don't think we have anything else. It does not fit. <laughs> it does not fit. Oh man, that's just. So that definitely needs a key that we don't have. So it's got to be something on this floor because there's just nothing else down on the second floor. So yeah, let's go back and, and take another look at this. Now I looked there and this, the only thing I can think, this looks odd, but they didn't comment on it. Hey, Mac, welcome. We had to equip that before. Nope, okay, well, I didn't think that was it, but. Awesome, hope things are going well for you tonight. Last time I saw you streaming, it was, uh, you were trying to wait out, what was it, a hundred turns or something on that strategy game? nice yeah that's me this is my weekend starts after this so like i'm excited to kick back and not do anything we got the fireball scroll that would be missable but it makes me wonder okay well i didn't think that was it all these sticks what else have we found Okay. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Um, where are we? Okay. Oh, hey. Welcome. Welcome raiders. Thank you for the raid. Oop. Hope y'all came for uh horrible cave monsters because that's the flavor of the day. Horrible cave monsters and me not having two brain cells to rub together to solve this simple puzzle. <laughs> Thank you. Shout out to Dan Van Dam for the raid. I got a bad feeling about this place. I was thinking for a second that this door looked like maybe it was slightly more fragile than the others. Ceiling doesn't look different. There's got to be something to do with this door. I tried bashing it down with the sledgehammer. Did I try using the pickaxe on it? 
Okay, no, that's not it. Ah! Man. Oh, boy. Okay, so if it's... There's nothing that makes sense around that door. Then there's the niche. There's the machine, which we don't have pieces of. Or pieces to, rather. A key a keyhole. Indeed, a keyhole. Hmm. can't remember if I did this. Actually, you know what? It occurs to me. I could be using the wrong tool. Okay, well, it was worth a shot. Just thought, why am I trying to use this pickaxe on? It's because the, the dungeon gave me the pickaxe, so my brain is associating that with, like, that must be what you need to use to solve the puzzle. It's got to be something simple. <sighs> what do we have? I have tried everything we have on the keyhole. It does not fit. It does not fit. Still don't know what that key goes to, actually. We it found that off that fit. skeleton in the woods and then didn't find a keyhole for it. Specifically said they couldn't pick it. Man. Okay, I did pick this lock. There is nothing else here. Odd, what could this be for? Odd, what could this be for? Hmm. I say, this lever won't budge. I wonder where this leads. I wonder where this leads. Hmm. Okay. So we have the machine. I know that there's nothing it seems like I can do with it right now. Then we've got the niche. I have put everything we have in that niche and nothing has happened. So it seems like that's not it. We do not have that key. Ooh, there's an idea. We haven't tried that. I don't know if I can cast spells from that screen because we did find fireball. Oh, I can't cast spells from the screen. Yeah, that's a good thought, Duwa. Though that's a good suggestion. Um. Hmm. What am I missing? What are we missing? Yeah, I thought that too. Possibly here, like, some kind of connecting piece. But I also am not sure that, like, this could theoretically just not be turning her on because it's not running. I figure we'll put something in here and close the door, and then maybe that's what will allow us to pull the lever, and then this will start going up and down, these will start spinning, that kind of thing. But I'm not sure. 
Um, no, I, f I feel like this is... We just don't have pieces to this yet. Oh, yeah. What could this be for? Yeah, and that's all the comment that we oh, get, what see? What could this be for? Smooth rock. Well, it was worth a try. Yeah, no, see, because I think it doesn't have any fuel. I think we need to find, like, some coal or something to put in there. So we just don't have what we need. Hmm. Okay. No, I tried that too. I did try that as well. Whoop. I tried the oil. That was the first thing I tried. And yeah, that's sadly did not work. Bacata was like, no, it's a good idea, but that's not it. It's like, oh, thanks. See, so that tells me out of everything we've got, I've tried everything in the niche, everything on the machine, everything on that door downstairs, everything with the clerk, and he's gone. So it has to be this door. I'm going to close this to make sure we don't get disturbed. No, you can't, as far as I can tell. If we have had combinable items, um, I, I don't know about it. Not so far. So I, I don't think so. It's possible, but I don't think so. Like I said, this looks kind of odd, like we could do something with that, but I've tried everything I can think of. See, that's what I thought of, do -wah, but no. I tried the pickaxe, I tried the sledge, because we've seen a lot of different little, like, visual things on the walls around here since we've arrived but that is uh unique as far as i can tell no it said we're too close see we don't have a target i wish it would just open what the fuck Sweet baby Jesus H. Christ on a pogo stick. Now how in the world? Why wouldn't it? Oh my god. Success. That's it. Because now this one's locked. That's the only thing that was different. Oh my gosh. You have to stand between the two doors and you can only open one if the other one's closed. Oh... That's so simple. That's so simple. That is literally the only thing I didn't try. Yeah, well, I've said before, I know I always overcomplicate simple puzzles. Yeah, it's like an airlock. Oh, Lord. Okay, well, we figured it out, though. We figured it out. Monthly quota sheet. Oh, my God. Okay, I feel a need to... I've got to save in case something happens. Because <laughs> I also don't know how long it's been since we did... There we go. A silver key. A bouncer. Hmm. Empty. Okay, so that's another bouncer. We actually already have one of those. So, um, you can't put that in the chest. I'm just going to leave it there. This is the first time, finally, we are to the point where we have to leave, like, a named magical item uh, lying on the floor unless we throw something else away. And I don't know what else we would leave behind. We need our healing potions. So we did have... Yeah, there's Bouncer. See, so we've, we've got another Bouncer. Well, we could always come back later. Obviously, items don't despawn. It will be there if we need to come pick it up. Okay, well, here's the important thing. Uh, we know where this uh, We know where this key goes, don't we? There's only one place it could go. Oh, wait. Wait, there. Sorry. Let me close that one first. Oop. Yeah, that's actually... I would rather do that. I think it's already bothering me. Let's see. I would rather leave a swarm. Oh, 
Oops. There we go. Okay, all tidied up. I cannot believe that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, you know, we have things like freeze that are just going to be way more effective. Okay. Oh man. There we go. That's it. We're we're through. These nasty things. Ugh. 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 I don't know what they are, but I hate them. Thankfully, they're not that tough. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, we've got to see where this goes. I spent too long on that puzzle to not explore our options. Ooh, hmm. Those are crank wheels. Okay, we can go between them. But there are... Oh! Oh! Look here now. Whoa! Okay, that spawned an enemy and created a pit. Love that for us. Okay, can we... Yes, okay, so we can get rid of the pit if we need to. All right. Um... What's this gonna do? So we turned one. We turned two. I don't see any changes on the map. Okay, so it looks like they just have two states, up or down. So let's see. What would those do? Hmm, okay, it seems like maybe the pit must be there for us to jump down into, right? Yeah, mine's level two, okay. Oh! Mine's level three. Uh-oh. Hello? Hello. What in the... Whoa! What was that? Oh, that was some kind of... We got teleported. Okay. All right, so now, now we're really, now we're really in it. Okay, so we've got, we've got some kind of teleporter puzzle. Those wheels may control, like, where it goes. Or something like that. pit had disappeared, but okay, so interesting okay, so this pit takes us down to level 2 predictably, then we have another pit here, and this one, this one was already there that one opened underneath us when we pushed the button, and that one took us here, and it is labeled as a teleporter, and then we had, there was a key in that niche, and that looked like a keyhole that it was going to go to Okay. Okay. All right. We've we've got a different puzzle. We got pieces. Okay. Well then, uh, as eager as I am to get into this, you little shit. You know what? Here. Oh, multiple fireballs for the next charge up. I love that. I love how the spell animations change. I do. Okay, let's rest, and I think that that is, uh, as much as I would love to keep going, I think that that's a perfect place to, to call it for this round of Lands of Lore. I think this is a good place to stop.
because that gives us something to look forward to next time and we know exactly what our goal is going to be and where we're going to start so yeah all right cool i'm i'm happy with that i'm happy with that so i will come back next saturday at 7 p.m eastern time which is new york and miami time here in the u.s with more lands of lore the throne of chaos and i hope that you will join me then because i have really appreciated y'all's help and your participation and your enthusiasm and just keeping me company Very while i bang nice. my head off of these puzzles <laughs> this is my favorite kind of game um and it is such a it is such a joy to explore a new one for the first time like this and to have y'all along for the ride so i am grateful for the privilege of your time you could have done anything but you spent the last couple hours with kieran bakata and me here in lands of lore so thank you for that i will return on monday with specific pixel for more blaze and blade eternal quest our current husband play and then on thursday Locke will be back on the island of aqualon now that we've cleared the caves it's time to see what's on the other side of them as we play some more revenant and the following monday which is going to be june the 12th i will flip flop back over to my solo series and we will continue the adventures of a bad boy in rivalon as I go back to Divine Divinity. So, happy Pride Month. Don't forget that on the 25th of June, that is the last Sunday, uh, Specific Pixel and I will be doing a big charity stream where we are going to be raising $1,000, or trying to, <laughs> with your help. Uh, so help spread the word. We're going to try and raise $1,000 to celebrate 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, and all of that money goes to the Video Game History Foundation. So share... Uh, you can find more details on the YouTube community tab or on our Tumblr, and uh, I will, of course, be letting our patrons know as we do things like hammer out the final donation incentives and stuff like that. So if you're one of our Patreon patrons or you're on the Discord, then you can get more information there first before I share it with anybody else. But that is June 25th, starting at noon Eastern time. We're going to be beginning with... Uh, we're going to be beginning with a link to the past randomizer since neither of us has ever played one of those and then we will go from there depending on you know what happens and how long it takes so hopefully i'll see you for any or all of those don't forget to follow on twitch subscribe on youtube like the video if you made it to the end leave a comment for the algorithm throw that amazon prime monthly free sub at us like one of you did earlier in the stream make jeff bezos's money do something worthwhile and consider joining our patreon for as little as a dollar a month to get some uh, sweet perks like having your game requests pushed to the top or getting to vote in exclusive polls and decide what games are going to be played next on the channel. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I am going to go uh, start my weekend. I hope that this helps you to start your Got weekend enough. off well. <laughs> Thank you for the gift subs. Y'all are continue to spoil us here on the channel and i really appreciate it i am eternally grateful and uh i will see you again in the next video until then as always thanks for playing <laughs>